Okay, what's up everyone? It is Sunday, October the 16th, and I randomly on a whim just decided that it would be a good idea for me to do the 10,000 calorie challenge. Um, I know when I hit 10,000 subscribers, which actually wasn't, wasn't, yeah, which actually wasn't that long ago, um, I said I would do the 10,000 calorie challenge, I didn't do it. Um, now I just hit 20,000 or actually 22,000 subscribers, um, so that's another 10K. So I figured that now would be as suitable of a time as any uh, to do it. So earlier we were just watching Rob Lipset and Chelsea Lift's videos as inspiration and got to thinking that there must be like some sort of way to like maximize uh, the amount of calories while not having too much food volume. We're gonna go to, I think, Whole Foods and Publix and just try to pick up some stuff in preparation for tomorrow. I'm the type of person who, once I reach some sort of set point, um, and you guys would have seen, I just did, uh, I just got my body fat tested by DEXA scan. It was 8.4, I think, 8. 8 point something. I'm not entirely sure how reliable that is, but it's probably somewhere in the eight to 10 range. And I'm actually happy that like my body is very comfortable settling here. And so my appetite isn't particularly high. I eat probably about 3000 calories a day. And I feel like I would struggle to eat a whole lot more than that after I eat a decently sized meal, um, I tend to feel full. Uh, so I'm not one of those people who just have like an insatiable appetite all the time. The only time I feel like that is when I'm prepping for a competition and get significantly below my set point. So uh, I definitely have to be, um, I have to budget this properly, is that, is that the right word? Manage my calories properly. I have to strategically, yeah. I have to it's strategize <laughs> my calories. I need to get a lot of calories for not a lot of food. Basically, and I was originally planning to do this by dr drinking. I was like, if I can just like drink soda and like chocolate milk and stuff, then it would be like way easier. But apparently, everyone's telling me on my Snapchat that you're not allowed to do that. I'm gonna show you guys the sunset because it actually looks really nice. So this is the Tampa sky, very pretty. And I should say, um, we actually just did a leg workout. It was the first time I used. A, a hip circle in conjunction with the hip thrust. Uh, so put the hip circle on, do your hip thrusts with isometric active uh, hip abduction. Uh, it was just like a massive glute medius and glute maximus stimulus. And then after you finish out the set to get a little bit more metabolic stress, just do hip abductions with the circle. I'll check in with you guys in the grocery store. For some reason, I'm actually like randomly really hungry right now. Um, so I've got these jalapeno cheesy bread appetizer things. As far as appetizers go, like five out of 10. So it's like not delicious or anything. Thinking that this is gonna be my last meal before, I'm gonna try to go to bed tonight on a relatively empty stomach so that I'll be a little bit more tomorrow. We're here at Genghis Grill um, and we're getting some chicken and I'll show you guys what I get, but this is what we started with. This is gonna be the last meal before the 10K challenge. There's chicken in here, potatoes, udon noodles, steamed rice, uh, brown rice, and then a bunch of vegetables. This is gonna be my last meal uh, before tomorrow, and tomorrow I'm gonna try the 10,000 calorie challenge. I'm gonna try to go to bed with like kind of an empty stomach, so I'll wake up nice and hungry tomorrow, have a big meal. I'm gonna try to get up early and start eating. Now we're going to Whole Foods. Whole Foods? Um, I tend to prefer foods that are higher in like sugar over fats. I was watching Rob Lipset's video actually as like motivation for this, and I think his total daily fat intake at the end of the day was, oh, 400 and it was almost 500 grams of fat. So almost half of his caloric intake came from fats alone. Oh, Halloween stuff. That actually could be yeah. though. So not gonna be getting anything in this section. Nuts? Wouldn't that be very helpful? I feel like that would help, yeah. You know what would be perfect for me is chocolate covered almonds. I like destroy chocolate covered almonds. To be honest, Whole Foods, Whole Foods might not be the best spot. Do you just want to go to Publix? I feel like we should just go to Publix. Like, is there any like, maybe like one or two things that you would want to go here? Let's, have a, let's have a super quick look yeah. while we're here. And then we don't have to, then like, we, we can like scrap the whole Whole Foods thing. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's leave Whole Foods. Wait, what are, what are, Halo, Halo Top? I thought they were supposed to be low calorie. The whole 200, pint is 200. Oh, the whole pint. But the Halo Top is much better. Well, I definitely won't be using any of that. So it would take me, it would take me, what, like 60 pints to get my, my goal. Okay, this is gonna be the only purchase that I get from, Whole Foods. Yeah, very high calorie. I feel like brown sugar blondie would be really good. I tried this one and it's really good. Could it, this is like 600 calories right here. Like, I feel like I could just like wreck for those. That would be like an easy 1200. Yeah. Now we are here at 
Publix, and this is where I'm gonna get the majority of my stuff. I realized that I also earlier forgot to say, this is my friend Stephanie, uh, she's from here in Tampa, and she's doing her PhD here at the University of South Florida in um, cancer research. So we kind of connected online initially, and then got together for a training session earlier today, and now she's coming and helping me out with my 10,000 challenge. Some Halloween stuff here, this could actually be, this could be decent. Is that a good price, 10.99? I feel like Halloween candy is pretty expensive. Oh, the cheesecake. But I think Publix will, Publix will have. They have cookies right? and cream. But isn't it the traditional info? See, that's the thing. Oh, it is though. Would this be good, I wonder? What do you think? Oh, it looks pretty good to me. <laughs> this all looks good to me. Yeah. Let's look at the, what are the macros? It looks like it's dense though, which makes it harder to eat. So in one quarter of a cake, there's 450. So if I ate, Oh, All this, it would be 800. Wait, am I the dumbest person ever? No, it would be 1800. Be what 18, is the total? It'd be 1800 because it's. it's it, it, no, we, well, 16 and then 17 because 50 times 4. Or no, they'd be. Math <laughs> <laughs> is hard 18, for PhD 1800. students. 1800. I did it. I did it like 450 times 2 is 900, and then 900 times 2 is 1800. That works too. That's how. That's how bro scientists. Yes. None of these cookies are calling you? I don't know, I'm not hungry right now. See, that's the problem. I should've came here when I was hungry. So if I get a couple of these, that will like six times 170. 840? 840. So one of these is 840. So if I get two of these, that's 1680. 1680, you can that. It's gonna be easy. Are you getting sick of them? That's actually intriguing. These, these might be interesting because it's like, oh, <laughs> these will actually be perfect because it's like a mixture of like salty and sweet. I've had people like sending me a bunch of tips for the 10K, so someone's recommended these. 410 in one cookie. I've oh, never seen shit. that. I, I, do, I, do I swear more in person than on camera? I really don't swear. I don't, I don't swear on camera, but I do in person. Yeah. I want to get like maybe potentially like a variety. Butterfinger, crunch. That's, that's my jam. Milk count as a liquid. So cereal doesn't count. Well, that's mixed in, so I think it should. Like, can I count the milk calories in the cereal? I have to. All I need is crazy. I don't, I don't need anything else. I already have that, so should I get a small box? I'm so jealous right now, that's all I have to say. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, should I get a small box or a regular size? Do they have? That is, isn't that a is small? That a regular, I don't know. It's I America. feel like the... Canadian has like, Canada has like tiny ones. It's like my second pick. Oh, and I also really like blueberry. Oh, uh, you know it's... I'm gonna have to get... Okay, so then one brownie, 280. One cookie, 170. Are they, you think they're good with the... I like candy. No, 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 but like macro-wise, is it, you have to like consider? One what pouch, if they're not... it's only 90 cows, but I feel like I could just smash the whole box really easily. Okay, now peanut butter and this sort of thing. What would you put in a towel? Like, are there, like what, do you, what do you put? I just eat it as a towel. That would work. Um, you could put it on ice cream? I don't know. I've seen two tablespoons, there's 200 calories. Yeah. So like, just even if I just ate two tablespoons, that would like, yeah. make it more useful. Oh, okay, so there's 2,000 2, calories. So there's 2,000 right there. I ate that. I feel like if I'm gonna have pizza, I should order a pizza, like take it. Like, do, like, like Domino's, pizza? Like Domino's pizza? But I think I'm also gonna get these. These are good. This is a good call. Obviously Ben and Jerry's. Peanut butter cups, fudge covered toffee pieces, white chocolatey chunks, and fudge covered almonds. That sounds super good, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, three, 10 times four, 1,240 calories in that thing. Milk. No, you have nothing savory, except, I, I or except them. for that. Hot <laughs> sticks. But I'm planning on like eating something at some point. Okay. Push it off somewhere. <laughs> I know. I always do that. <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> I don't need it. <laughs> like, I will purposely <laughs> lift it and make sure it's like completely out of the way. Yeah, yeah. I want to inconvenience. Them. Inconvenience okay, all so. these people. Honestly, I might, I might leave it on the cake because like I have a lot of junk food as it is, you know? You can get Oreo I've got this ice cream. The, those actually do look appetizing, but I think, I think I'm think i good with junk food related stuff. Breakfast, I'm gonna have um, Eggo waffles. So yeah, let's go get that. And then I can use like regular syrup. I have a few. 
like real maple syrup from Canada. Oh, do you actually? Yeah, I think so. Okay, perfect. I'll choose that. I'm gonna get 1% milk because I'm not even sure if cereal is cheating at this point. So I would get 2% or whole potentially to get more calories. But I have a feeling people are gonna call me out on the liquid cereal deal. So yeah, I'm just getting low fat. And eggs. Never thought of this until just now, but chips. Chips are like my ideal bulk food. Oh, actually, if we could make nachos or something like that. That would be perfect for me. Tostitos scoops, here we go. So yeah, this is gonna be good. This will help. Do you know if there's a spot where you can get like um, smaller bags of these? It's gonna be, I think, in the checkout aisle. Cause I should get a normal bag. Cause I feel like I'm going a little bit crazy. It's like I'm not gonna eat a full that's big bag. A big bag too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the big bags are like party size. Oh, wait. Oh, gee. Yeah, I'm obviously not gonna get a party. So I'm gonna go back and lay all this stuff out. I hope that you guys found it uh, at least somewhat entertaining in terms of how it was that I strategized uh, going about the 10,000 calorie challenge. And uh, I am planning on making this somewhat informative and scientific in terms of how many calories one can sort of absorb and then um, where those calories are sort of uh, partitioned in the body and how many are likely to be stored as fat, uh, whether the macronutrient composition is of any importance there. Um, so those are the sort of questions that I'm gonna be looking into and trying to answer in the actual 10K challenge video. As for now, that's gonna conclude this one. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Um, leave any comments below that you might have for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Thank you.